Hey there guys, what's up? Uh, I'm going to go over some uh, turbine vocabulary. Uh, turbine is actually pretty simple in terms of vocab. This area right here, spawn, extends from right here all the way to the very edge of your flag room. Right here, this whole area is spawn. And for this area right here, this is your staircase. Um, usually it's pretty important to call this out. They're pushing from staircase, and that's pretty, that's pretty key to call out if they're pushing from that particular area. This is vents, obviously. Um, the one really nice thing about this version of Turbine is that the vents are actually pretty far. Uh, they're actually widened quite a bit, so if you're playing Spy, you can get the very edge and someone can actually go right past you. So it's really been much improved for Spies. And usually, as a Spy, you'll be sitting up here above the flag room with Cloak and Dagger, waiting for your team to push in. You'll come down, stop the sentry gun. And that's pretty much your whole job on Turbine. Occasionally you'll get a medic pick or some other kind of pick, but that's only if you're on your way to the flag room and you can get away with it. Like you can get their demo or whatever, and then your team can push in on that or, you know, whatever. But anyway, uh, this is flag room, obviously. Uh, you go into the, here, this is your hall. This whole area right here is hall. And the thing about Hall is that they can see you pushing in from this, so it's probably not the most uh, advisable thing to do. But um, if your spy saps the gun for at that particular time where you're all coming through the hallway, then you should be able to get away with it. You should be able to, you know, have the spy sap the gun, you all start pushing in, they're distracted with killing the spy, then you all pop and they're just completely disoriented and won't have time to counter your push. You can also try pushing in from Banana, which is this area right here. You can push in from Banana and onto their bats, this battlements right here. You can push in onto their battlements and right when you get right about here, you can pop it. And they can pop it over and the spike and sap and it should work out pretty okay. But you need to be careful because usually the sniper is hanging out here or he's going to be right around here. And he's going to look for the door to open and he can pop your mech in the head. So be careful about that. So there's banana. This is crates. Or you can call it lunchbox, which is this thing right here. It really doesn't matter. Either or, we we'll do fine. This is balcony. This is usually where you also have a sniper hanging out. He'll hang out on the balcony looking for, you know, looking for their sniper. Or if you decide to push out, he'll usually snipe the medic when he comes out here or out here or banana. You know, whichever one he chooses. And I think that's pretty much sums up the vocabulary. So let's go ahead and go with that, that again real quick. Crates or lunchbox. Banana. Hall. Vents. Staircase. Spawn. Starts here. Goes all the way around. To here. Flag room. Battlements. And hall. Once again. So yeah. That's... Turbine in a nutshell. There's uh, a lot of different strategies for this map, and personally, I think TF2 is really poor for CTF. It's just really not well designed for that game mode, and there's a good reason why this is pretty much the only CTF map that's basically played at all in, High in Highlander or Sixes from that matter. Uh, there is more Sixes maps that play CTF. Uh, I don't know about them, but generally, this is the only CTF map that's played, and it's for a good reason, because it's really stalemate -y. it's pretty easy to end up in a sort of a turtle state where neither team really pushes and both teams have sentry guns in the flag room it just it just pretty much stops the game so it's kind of slow you'll need to really really work with your team and figure out some real good strategies for this map because you can't play it the same way you would uh king of the hill or five point cp you guys gotta really think about where you want to push from and if you guys don't get the mid, if y'all don't get mid, what are you going to do? Like, how are you going to push out into mid and gain presence on the mid if they happen to get it? You got to figure these things out with your team, and you really got to work with your team to figure these and just come up with good strategies and backup plans. So, good luck. Try to have fun. And if you're a spy, like I said before, cloak and dagger, set the uh, intel room, occasionally get a medic pick. But Spy doesn't really have much of another job other than dealing with the sentry on this map. That and teaming up with the scout to uh, sap the gun. Spy saps. Scout runs in. Grabs the intel while the gun is sapped. Runs right back out. Keeps going. Keeps going. 
and you know caps it for his team. You also need you you need to, you need to coordinate that with your scout, or you need to coordinate it with your team who has the Uber. So, yeah, uh, that's it. That's it for Turbine. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope this helps. See us.